This is me trying gitu loh. Yeah. Hai, nama gue Wira, mahasiswa biologi di Radboud University Nijmegen. I spend my days in the lab or with the books. Gue dari kecil sudah terobsesi dengan dunia sains, tapi ternyata gue nggak sepinter yang gue kira. So I'm failing my courses. This is a way for me to show I'm not that stupid, or it may show the other way around. And I'm Brandon, a student from the Hans University of Applied Sciences in Groningen. I'm a science enthusiast who's also interested in music, philosophy, and deep conversations. I'll talk your ear off about things I'm passionate about. So if you've got any similar interests, prepare to go down the rabbit hole. Podcast ini akan nunjukin seberapa sotonya kita. So stick around. Podcast PP Belanda, warna-warni suara anak bangsa. So, <laughs> you want to start? All right. So like. Hi, <laughs> everyone. Hi. Uh, yeah, so um, this is uh, pe- podcast PPI, yes. uh, PPI Belanda, and here's my friend Brandon. Hi. Right. Uh, he's a. What are you? What are you? What am I? I'm. Well, <laughs> first of all, I'm. I'm a student. Yeah, uh, he is. Yeah. Uh, I. Yeah, I'm studying in Groningen at the moment. Uh, game design, but. Yeah, like I grew up most of my life in Indonesia, mm-hmm. so I feel like we could have some interesting discussions right. regarding Indonesia and Pepe and like student life in yeah, the Netherlands, yeah, all yeah. this type of stuff. Yes, yes. Uh, kayaknya kayak untuk episode pertama ini lebih baik untuk mengenal, like people to know us, right? Yeah. Who am, who, uh, why should they listen to us? Yeah. Kayak kenapa? I'm gonna tell you why you guys <laughs> should listen to us. Uh, why? Why our opinion matters, gitu. Yeah. yeah. Um. I think uh, um, our backgrounds. I'm like uh, an Indonesian, uh, born and raised uh, Jaka- from Jakarta, and my parents, uh, dua-duanya, uh, mostly Jawa, uh, mm-hmm. Japanese. Like I'm like the majority of the majority. I'm a Muslim too. Right. My, my my family is a Muslim too. Yeah. So like, gue majoritas dari mayoritas yeah. dari mayoritas. Jadi kayak uh, if people say, like said like majority has like their own uh, advantages, I have all the advantages. Right. Yeah. Kayak, so you're kind of like the perfect model of like Indonesian, y- the, the typical Indonesian. Yeah. yeah. Jadi kayak kalau lu sample gitu yeah. <laughs> di Indonesia randomly pek ambil kayak gua. Uh, <laughs> maybe, well, yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah maybe with uh, like, I, I'm blessed to have like uh, my income, uh, my parents' income and everything, so I'm not, I cannot represent that demogra- demographic. Yeah. Uh, but like, yeah, I'm mostly like my race, everything. It's yeah. mostly majority. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, like you kind of represent. I mean, like when I look at you, it's kind of like I can see, like, yeah, the typical middle class Indonesian, yeah. you know? <laughs> and it's like, and you didn't have like a national like, like education, right? Uh, like, yeah. like, yeah, like we we both did IB international yes. baccalaureate. Like we both went to the same high school. So, so like somebody passed on time, somebody didn't. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He came hot and one year late because he failed his economies. Uh, that wasn't my fault, Miss Chester. Was your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Kita berdua uh, came from different background. I mean, mm. like your family and my family. Kayak, um, there's obviously like a majority minority thing here. Like yeah. uh, I represent, I can, I think I can represent. Like my demographic can represent the majority in Indonesia. While you, you're like a whole different type of guy, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I feel like uh, let's just tell them. You like, could represent the general demographic, but I feel like. You are still a lot more open-minded than uh, most that of is them. True. So I feel like that's the key here with, with this discussion is that, like, even though you represent the majority, like, you still have the capability to kind of like empathize and like think critically and like you know that's why I feel like this is a good kind of matching. Because let's just tell them like, what wh- what is your background, your family yeah. background? My background. Your dad. You can see, like my father, he's African American in Chicago. Uh, yeah, Chicago born. Um, so that kind of yeah makes me half American, um, and then my mom is Indonesian Polish, um, and yeah they both met in Indonesia and that's how kind of I was born in Indonesia. Really weird story like oh dude that is I mean like my background is kind of just all over the place like I feel like yeah I do kind of feel like I don't really belong anywhere like because I've lived in Indonesia my entire life like ni- 18 years of my life and. Even though, like, I do call that place home, mm-hmm. I still, like, obviously don't feel 100% like I'm part of that society because I've never really had an Indonesian citizenship. Oh, and yeah. it's like... That is, like, one of the, like, 
key role, like key yeah. factor, right? Yeah. You don't even have an Indonesian passport. Yeah, passport, ID, driving license, nothing. And it's like you have you have a Colombian fake ID. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a story. That's <laughs> like it's something that I did have. I lost that though. Someone stole it off the wallet. Yeah, like moving to Chicago kind of opened my Indonesian side a lot more. It made me kind of feel a bit more comfortable being like in that Indonesian skin because like. I remember back in, in like Montessori, like I used to kind of look down on like Indonesians a lot oh, be- yeah, because, because like I felt like I was in this international community and like I felt like I was more international than Indonesian. So like it feel I don't like it kind of there's a power distance. But like that in our school, like I think you you're welcome. You're really wel- yeah. yeah. You're really w- are welcome. I agree. Like I felt pretty, I felt pretty welcomed. Uh, felt pretty welcomed in like, Chicago. Uh, yeah, yeah, like there, like yeah, ninety percent of them is Indonesian and like. Uh, I cannot see you as not an Indonesian gitu. Yeah, yeah. I, I can I can just like see you as like an Indonesian with like uh like a weird background. Yeah, yeah. And, like that, that's not really fluent in Indonesian gitu. Kayak yeah. orang Indonesia yang tidak berbahasa Indonesia aja. Yeah. Tapi Ta- tapi gue bisa bahasa Indonesia. Like I haven't said a single word in Indonesian. Yeah. Tapi gue bisa. It's just I'm more like comfortable like yeah. expressing my thoughts and like I'm more articulate in English. So it probably like most of this will just be like me speaking English. You kind of fill it in Bahasa, but I can speak in like we can have some conversations in Bahasa later on. Maybe the goal of the conversation is to like come out of it with both of you yeah, knowing yeah, more yeah, yeah, okay. than when you came in. Then maksud gue, um, kenapa I think kayak niche ini sangat bisa kita isi karena um, I believe gue percaya banget kalau Bahasa itu itu yang membuat kita manusia. I agree. Kayak yeah. apa bedanya kita dengan uh, Neanderthal? Like mm. our our cousin Neanderthal, okay, our focal core. To those that believe. Yeah, to those who believe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you believe, yeah, if, it's not it's not about believing. Like, yeah. It's about evidence. Yeah. So yeah, our cousin Neanderthals, they they don't have focal cords like we do. Okay, mm. uh, pita suaranya enggak sebaik kita. Dan mm. bentuk mulutnya, bentuk this Rahang. rahangnya mm. itu enggak se enggak se fine tune. Like their muscle. Uh, it's designed to chew exactly really. it's, it's twitched uh, to, like the it twitched so hard mm. jadi kayak fi- fine movement enggak bisa yeah. sementara kayak kita bisa mem- memanipulasi udara untuk menghasilkan suara mm. kan uh, dan makanya itu bahasa sangat penting yeah. menurut gua kenapa niche ini kita fi- uh, bisa kita isi karena bahasa yang kita gunakan uh, bahasa Indonesia dan campur bahasa Inggris mm. yang 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 sehari-hari kita pakai gitu membuat kita merasa lebih dekat kepada topiknya. It mm. it give proximity yeah. to the topic. So I feel like it's more just like by discussing like more serious topics or more like interesting issues in yeah. a more vernacular casual, language. Vernacular <laughs> language, yeah. <laughs> or like in a more like casual way, like we hope to kind of like yeah, like to bring these like very like high level like scientific topics, like all these debatable mm. things in a more understanding like presentation so like this is kind of like i feel like as well like this is the core of like long form discussions like podcasts and stuff is that you can actually go very deep into a certain topic but also keep it casual enough so that people kind of can relate to it karena gue merasa ya terutama gue setahun di UGM uh, di Universitas Gajah Mada di Yogyakarta uh, gue belajar kimia mm. jujur uh, distance kayak jarak distance. jarak antara murid dan uh, t- the teacher is mm. really uh, far away gitu. yeah. uh, 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 and like itu yang menurut, menurut gue uh, niche nya gak ada gitu mm. gak ada orang gak ada figur Like we don't have a scientific communicator in our right. society, yeah. right? Nggak ada figur yang bisa membuat kayak topik-topik ini tuh dekat gitu. Mm, kayak yeah. ini tuh bahasa tongkrongan kita gitu. Yeah. And it's actually true. Kayak kita kalau uh, just hang out kayak di campfield di yeah. Starbucks, kita bakal ngomongin, kita bakal ini, ngomongin ini, ini, man. Kayak Tuhan, yeah. itu, evolusi, masalah. <laughs> Walaupun kita nggak punya kita nggak punya kualifikasi untuk yeah. discuss that, uh, tapi kayak the fact that kita berdiskusi tentang itu itu adalah kayak um, it interest us to like find out more yeah, about the, exactly. the topic gitu. So like I guess um, like to conclude like our conversation ya, kayak um, so the point of this podcast is uh, to make the discussion closer yeah. to the to to our to the youngsters, right? Yeah. Dan itu dilakukan dengan menggunakan bahasa-bahasa yang santai aja gitu kan. Mm. 
Uh, yang, yang kita pakai gitu which is vernacular yeah. language like that, 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 udah that, kayak gitu that. aja lah kan kita kan ya yeah, like we are family of monyet gitu kan <laughs> jadi kan gitu like the data best yeah, bahasa bahasa yang digunakan gitu, um, sehari hari gitu yeah. dan according to this book uh, back to the topic of national identity mm. according to this book called uh, imagined communities mm-hmm. I forgot the author uh, honestly but like uh, what is it called Imagine communities. Imagine Benedict Anderson. Benedict Anderson. Yeah. Yeah. Jadi kayak um, identitas nasionalisme itu dibentuk karena bahasa, mm. menurut dia, karena bahasa vernacular itu. Karena yang bahasa yang digunakan bukan lagi bahasa-bahasa scripture gitu, bahasa-bahasa mm. sajak mm. yang ada di religion yeah. and like higher higher uh, literature gitu. Mm. Maka orang bisa mengambil identitas itu gitu. Kayak kita kita bisa merasa kita orang Indonesia. Right. Because we speak the same language. Gitu. Mm-hmm. Jadi kita kita punya atribusi ke uh, the people kita, yeah. kita kita punya koneksi ke uh, masyarakat. And makanya kayak kolom nasionalisme seseorang itu, itu di, diukur bukan dengan background ya menurut gua. It's about how you how much you feel how relatable you are to like yeah. to the bigger community. I agree. Um, and like I guess you gitu. Menurut gua orang maupun lu nggak punya paspor Indonesia ya. Menurut, or, menurut gue orang nggak bisa bilang lu bukan orang Indonesia, hmm. ngerti nggak? Ya. Yeah. Karena lu merasa dekat dengan masyarakat di Indonesia, you you care about them. I speak the vernacular language. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And it's like, where else would I be from? You know? yeah. Like 18 years of my life. Gue di mana nih? Indonesia, you know? Ini, so orang, like... orang, ini orang orang ini orang orang gandul. Orang cinere. <laughs> it's just yeah, like I feel like. Every time someone asks me where I'm from, I say Indonesia because that's literally like literally and like emo- like where I'm from, you know. It's like I came here from Indonesia and it's like I haven't really known any other home besides that. But I feel like I like I agree like something that ties me very closely to that place that to Indonesia is the wit- is the fact that yeah, like I can understand you guys yeah. on on such a casual like level mm-hmm. that it's like yeah, like it makes sense, you yeah. know. Because it's like for example, right? Like I've never been to Chicago. Like I've I've never yeah set foot in Chicago. So for me to say I'm from Chicago, it feels wrong. Like I wouldn't say that I'm ever from Chicago. Like I feel like my dad's from Chicago. Maybe I would sometimes say oh, I'm from Chicago. Uh, sound cool. For, for street cred. <laughs> street cred. <laughs> but but like, realistically like I wouldn't say I'm from Chicago because I don't like I don't even know Chicago slang, you know. Yeah. Like I don't know how they speak. Like it, like there's something that's very like um like it's very confined within like like i feel like slang you know like it's, it's a very like uh confined thing within that kind of region you know like where it's like jakarta slang might not even be the same as like bandung slang for example right and it's like yeah like to to, to like be able to know the, the slang i feel like it gives you already that kind of sense of oh yeah, yeah this yeah. is go, like go my people yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, even di Jakarta pun ada dibagi beberapa ka- da- daerah gitu kan Jakarta Selatan yeah. Jakarta Timur orang-orang kan like like the com- like like the newest like joke was like anak Jaksel yeah. gitu. yeah. yeah. dan itu like literally that's how I speak <laughs> it's sad but like itu beneran itu it, that's me being authentic gitu like yeah. kayak gue dari SD man ngomongnya kayak mm-hmm. gitu mm-hmm. kayak ngomong pakai uh, like imbuhan like yeah. and literally. like literally yeah tapi itu kayak I know people make fun of it and I even make fun of my of it tapi mm-hmm. kayak it gives you that identity bahwa yeah. gue anak jaksa gitu yeah. dan menurut gue uh, we're building an identity here gitu. that's true yeah what if like what if in the future kayak bahasa slang kita itu it can actually explains the world of science Yeah. yeah, it would be in our like, identity. It would be on on our, on our DNA as a Indonesian gitu. Bahwa slang kita tuh dunia like, dunia higher scholars gitu, kayak like, dunia akademik gitu. Like, saying, like it can kind of be a form of like a way that you can communicate these ideas. Exactly. And like in Indonesia. Yeah. yeah. If 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 more people are is jo- join the discussion because like in science oh okay, ya untuk uh, kalian yang belum tahu kayak Uh, di di dunia di dunia sains ini gue juga bertau tahun ini kayak um, there's this lecture gitu yang ngomong kayak um, bagaimana kita mengukur um, seberapa seberapa ki- kita mengerti se- tentang satu subjek gitu itu berdasarkan uh, human years hmm. so like human and years like how many years and how many human and they multiply it. jadi kayak um, for example it's um, like we've been searching about 
pro- protein synthesis gitu mm-hmm. for 10 years mm-hmm. and there's 70,000 humans researching a human researcher that yeah. does that gitu jadi 70,000 kali 10 tahun uh-huh. jadi itu human years okay i get what you mean so that like that's how many years that we've been researching yeah. that thing at yeah. the moment okay makes sense jadi ya yeah, human years is a really interesting concept gitu kayak ma- gue makin semangat bikin ini karena Bay- bayangin kalau semua orang di Indonesia we have like I don't know 260 million yeah 260 million something like that okay those brain power yeah. involved in the same topic gitu itu gila man I think this is where we start gitu where we should start gitu yeah. so like like what you're trying to say is like yeah like we're, like in order to like reduce the poverty in Indonesia like we need to like uh, invite build, people to like think we critically need to build national identity mm, yeah yang that promotes those type of, those type of qualities gitu. Jadi abstrak banget memang cuman eh, gampang gitu. Um, kita hanya butuh kayak figur-figur uh, apa figur some public figure gitu yeah. yang emang beneran bisa we can actually sell this brand mm. of people gitu. So like Neil deGrasse Tyson for example exactly, that type exactly of Neil deGrasse Tyson, yeah. Carl Sagan, Logic. Yeah. You know there's this Logic man. <laughs> kayak uh, Okay, my favorite rapper is Logic. Uh, um, there's this one interview with N- Neil kan, si Logic, si Logika. Ini um, terus Neil Neil bilang ke Lo- Logic gitu. I, I I I've always had like a really soft spot for artists gitu. Cuz like by by only that we can actually build the topic of science to become sexy. Mm, yeah. To become viral, mm. to become mainstream. I get it. And when science become mainstream, there's we can harness a lot of more, more brain power mm, in it. Though. Mm. Um yeah, like the reason I think why people like why a lot of people like when I talk to people in Indonesia like you know are like religious teachers or like religion teachers. Your religion teachers or like some like other people who may not believe like I get like the impression that they're like no, like we're not from like like we're not from apes because like they're animals and we're humans and it's like if you actually like go into detail and explain to them how exactly we're related like it's not a direct relation it's more of like you know there was a common creature an- before us th- common yeah ancestor. yeah co- co- like common ancestor essentially where it's kind of like you know there was a creature before us that shared lineage with an ape there was an ape and then like it kind of had m- m- modifications to like the way it's like to, like its physiology and then it went to the point where yeah like it became a new species because the differences of this mutation like made it so far from the base species that it kind of creates a new species yeah you might like how do you put it in like an analogy you know okay tapi menurut gue kayak what's important in that gitu in that aspect mungkin kenapa mereka enggak mau percaya terhadap the evidence of science karena they don't speak the same language Th- this yeah. is the whole point yeah. of this uh, whole thing Th- yeah. this whole podcast and everything um, k- kita karena scientists expect them to speak speak our language mm. kayak uh, l- learn math uh, yeah. learn bio gitu. yeah. and like they uh, scientists okay uh, th- here's here's like the problem of scientific science communicating gitu. like mereka expect untuk orang-orang ini anak-anak orang lazim <laughs> anak-anak eh anak-anak jalanan gitu lu expect untuk ngomong science gitu yeah. apa de- dengan bahasa kayak gitu nggak bisa gitu yeah. and the problem is uh, this people look down on them mm. and and like if we look down on them mereka akan lebih merasa bahwa lu bukan gua gitu. feel more marginalized exactly and like it, it, be, it became like the resistance i mm. think the resistance came from that gitu and i guess kayak for the merits of everything kayak i think harus direndahkan gitu mm. kayak lu harus bisa ngomong deng- dengan bahasa mereka gitu yeah that's why i, I uh, gua bergaul sama siapa aja gitu sama mulai yang anak anak tauran yeah. sa- anak yang narkoba <laughs> gitu misalnya sampai sampai yang professor gitu like um, like the Dutch Nobel Prize of meet 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 them before mm. gitu karena I feel like they sh- they all should speak the same language mm. gitu I, I I'm trying to understand both languages gitu um, and I guess that's where a striving nation start gitu. mm. a striving national identity stri- start is where we all feel we're on the same page we're on we're all on the same page gitu. yeah and like all based on evidence and based on 
you know uh, empirical mm. um, observation I guess yeah things tapi I think like to get to that mindset you know yeah what does it take yeah uh, yeah and like w- what me like us that does have that mindset kita harus bisa menularkan kualitas ini gitu ke orang-orang lain D- dengan cara morphing ke mm. mereka gitu menurut gue ya dengan cara bahwa ini tuh a part of lu juga tau kayak mm. gue temen lu kan kalau gue kayak gini I'm then henceforth a part of you gitu mm. uh, and what I stand for is some something that you also like uh, relate to like mm. it's a part of your identity gitu kayak ident- identitas yang gue bikin adalah gue orang Indonesia teman-teman gue ini 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 yang iya gue temenan sama mereka karena kita percaya dengan like we agree on certain things mm. gitu yeah we need to like blend mm. to their mm. community to be able to s- spread this gitu mm. yeah I get what you mean mm-hmm. it shouldn't be a bad thing like you know like sometimes well like what do you think of this what do you think of that Oh, gue gak suka ngomong tentang politik Or it's like, you know, like, gue gak suka Karena ngomong Karena jauh, men Topik yeah, itu tuh jauh, jauh. Yeah, it's like Belum connect sama sekali Like, yeah. like even for them Kayak mikirin itu aja udah pusing, you know Cause it's like Udah malas mikirin gitu Proximitas Or maybe it's like They just don't think it's important enough You know, it's like Kayak It will, it will be important if kayak kalau itu adalah identitas mereka gitu mm. Like, human needs to be a part of something, kan Yeah uh, And like If all of their friends Like, their circle is a part of that conformity kicks in mm. ash uh, solomon ash and everything yeah uh, right so like when co- when conformity kicks in like it becomes important gitu mm. kayak it becomes important karena it's a, it's a currency now mm. Sekar- sekarang yang 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 ada di uh, like like social media and like like our indonesian society what do you think is the currency okay cloud like popularity it, exactly like right stuff. terus kayak uh, brands and everything kan what if like science should be a brand gitu that mm. we sell mm. I get what you mean and I'm I, and I'm, I'm I'm really interested to be like the salesman of it gitu loh. and that's why I, I take biology yeah. as a major like if you look at YouTube right like there's a lot of different things you can be like you can base your channel off of right and that's essentially branding yourself right like there's a lot of gaming YouTubers there's a lot of like makeup YouTubers so like in a sense they are that brand like they are promoting that brand and there's also like things like you know veritasium and like vsauce Dude, veritasium, I love it, and, like yeah. seeker and like all these uh. type of like inform informative channels and i feel like if we take kind of like that model like obviously like people abroad have already n- noticed that the science brand sells and like if you do it properly like yeah obviously veritasium vsauce those type of people wouldn't be the way like yeah. where they are now if it wasn't like a good kind of business model or like brand to kind of brand yourself off of at the moment in Indonesia like there isn't any push towards actually like yeah like there isn't a spokesperson there isn't someone who's like hey maybe I'm just gonna it's do science it's a niche right you know? yeah gue ngeliat ngeliat itu kayak dan business opportunity nya gede banget yeah Here, here's the thing we have energy companies right And most of Indonesia's energy comes from geothermal, but exactly. it's not being tapped at all. It's like two percent of the energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tapi we have the biggest geo- geothermal uh, uh, w- generator in the world. Mm. Jadi kayak it's a step there. Tapi we have this companies gitu, like energy companies, uh, research, research companies gitu. Tapi mereka nggak punya spokesperson gitu. Mm. Dan lu lihat lu kalau lihat Seeker gitu, lu lihat this, the Discovery Channel like the the, the YouTube uh, now now this and everything. Mm. Sponsor mereka apa? US Army mm. To do it too yeah. <laughs> Like they're, they're, they're explaining about uh, Like the uh, Carriers and like how it works Yeah you know, yeah like, yeah. Sponsored by US Air Force Yeah Like how many Millions of dollars Thousands Millions you Think man. about it right It's like If you are good at explaining Scientific things Then like Chances are your country Is gonna say okay You know like we have Like you know We're gonna pay you To explain this To the people you know Jadi, jadi KPL Jadi key opin- uh, K- KOL key, key, opin- key opinion leader mm. Jadi kayak uh, It leads the Opinion of the people gitu. yeah, yeah yeah. But like I feel like Indonesia would benefit a lot From just Getting to that first step And saying okay We need some spokesperson You yeah. know, you know? Mm-hmm. Like Back then we had philosophers Who'd stand in like ex- Center of the city And shout things to people People who are interested would listen. People who weren't probably think they're crazy. Yeah. But it's like there was still someone communicating these ideas, you know, yeah, yeah. that weren't kind of like 
it's like a decentralized idea. Like it's not like coming from an official authoritarian body. Yeah, yeah, it's not coming from exactly. You know, it's just coming from a regular person like you and me. You know, so yeah, it's yeah. like most more likely that people will say, "Oh, maybe," mm. you know, like this is something that interests me because this random guy is talking about it. I mm. kind of understand what he's saying. Yeah, he's yeah. on a, like speaking to me on the same level. Yeah. So maybe and, and like, the yeah. fact and the fact like the audience is the people. You know, sekarang karena audience dari uh, scientific communicator yang sekarang, mm. which is like lecturers, dosen, researcher mm. gitu. Audience apa? Mereka mereka sendiri gitu. Yeah. Eh, akhirnya or, akhirnya orang nggak mau nonton lu ngomongin tentang kayak apa um, cell cell membrane for yeah. like 12 hours gitu. Yeah. Or, karena people do have conference about that and right. like that's crazy. Yeah. And like the every everyday Joe wouldn't like be interested in it. Yeah. And like Masalahnya nggak ada alternatif dari itu. Yeah. Kayak uh, lu either ikut conference 12 jam atau enggak sama sekali. Mm. Sementara ke, kayak ini harusnya jadi topik yang yang enteng dan it just it just keep on rolling in the back of your mind itu. And that what shapes the the national identity. Like yang gua pengen itu ada national identity Indonesia adalah orang-orang yang melek gitu, mm. yang 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 Ya, sadar akan akan ada uh, the, the progress of science mm. karena kalau balik lagi ke ke our founding founding fathers gitu there's this there's this guy called Tan Malaka mm. and uh, I've told you this before like his book is Madilog which is mm. uh, matematika dialektika dan logika mm. uh, dan dia dia terjerat dengan uh, isu-isu PKI segala macam kan. Tapi uh, aside from that, aside from the his association association to uh, the Communist Party gitu. Ide itu, ide matematika, dialektika, dan logika. Kalau kalau itu ada kayak kita nggak bisa dibego-begoin lagi gitu. Kita nggak mm. bisa dibodoh-bodohin lagi gitu. That's true. Kan, I mean, yeah. Dan orang-orang yang merasa dibodoh-bodohin adalah orang-orang yang nggak berbah nggak nggak satu bahasa sama orang-orang yang membodohi mm. gitu loh karena mereka nggak ngerti their actual intention because communicating is about like expressing intention mm. kan and people manipulate how they communicate to uh, to like mask what is their intention mm. gitu kalau lu berbahasa yang sama gue tahu lu tuh sebenarnya maunya apa yeah I get what you mean because like yeah it's that sense of like you know I'm human, you're human. Mm. I I know what hurts me, so that must also hurt you. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. kind of like logic, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like, but like, there's this argument, right? Like, are we like, is the Indonesian identity that we have now, is it Indonesian because it's not based off of Mari Lok? Like, b- because it's yeah. based off of like, uh, these folklore and like all these like spiritual. Like, I feel like that's something that really makes Indonesia like unique, like. Because it's also part of this like Southeast, you know, yeah. S- Southeast Asia, and like that's very like common where you see like you know Buddhists and like Hindu and stuff, and there's very rich like Hindu uh, like history in Indonesia, yeah. and it's like I agree that it would be optimal in the name of science to like have that type of uh, basis of Madilok, mm-hmm. but then it's like personally I wouldn't like trade that over the thousands of years of like history. Mm-hmm. That like kind of because then the it's like it, the yeah yeah it's kind of just like you know because that that's also part of our history too right like Majapahit Ramayana all that type of stuff you know and it's like yes it may not be like as useful in like the utilitarian world that we live in now but it's like I wouldn't want exchange that. exchange that you know yeah, yeah. like I feel like what we can say is yeah like moving forward we definitely should be a lot more like empirical empirical and like critical thinking. But we shouldn't eat, like we shouldn't forget our roots either. What if what if like the combination of both either? Yeah, what, that, what if the com- what combination of like an abstract mind is supported by an empirical uh, backup? Either. Well, yeah, that's like the ideal. Uh, podcast. F- oh damn. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, some more technical difficulties, but I think we should wrap it up. Right. So okay. to wrap this up, like in the f- in the future, okay, uh, we're gonna like dive in to the records uh, of research and stuff, mm. and we're we're gonna try our best to like uh, bring it up to you, okay? Because uh, like it's a niche market, I guess, uh, yeah. and it's really really vital vital for like the future yeah. of um, the community, I guess. And I guess that's it uh, for today. Um, it's, re- it's really long conversation. Uh, 
uh, from like national identity to like the actual world of science. Yeah. Um, I guess uh, this is the type of conversation we'll be having in, in the future. Yeah. Uh, and I guess that's uh, it. So yeah, thank you for watching. Thanks.